morning, actually this afternoon, <laughs> sorry, so good afternoon. Uh, we are going to be uh, making a peach um, lollipop or popsicle uh, for my kids because they've finished the other lollipops that I made them last time. Uh, the apple and um, the strawberry. The strawberry was their favourite, so next time I won't be making the, the, the combination that I made last time. So, um, and also at the same time, I wanted to just sort of like um, get some people to sort of like start um, communicating or sharing on our uh, 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 channel because <laughs> uh, it's a bit quiet. So, I was going to ask people to sort of talk about what uh, job would you be willing to do without getting paid? And for me, I run a dog boarding business and uh, even though I do it professionally, I also look after my pets. And I don't know when Bruno's gone. Bruno! You know, Benjamin's eating, so I don't want him to go in a room where Benjamin's by himself. Um, so yeah, so what job would you be doing? and? Um, that you're willing to do without getting paid for. For me, is caring for animals. <laughs> I'm just going to rinse this before I put any stuff in here. Even though I haven't, it's washed, but I've just not used it for a while, so I give it a quick rinse. And, um, so yeah, and I need to. So what I'm going to be doing, if you want to have a look, um, so for me really it's like looking after animals, that is why my cost, the cost of uh, my service is quite reasonable, quite cheap, compared to, um, I would just keep some of these juice and then, um, and then the rest I'll, I'll get rid of it really. But, As I said, everything I do is always, I eyeball everything. And then I need something. So Ben just came back from, well, I went to collect Ben from um, playgroup. So he's very quiet. And um, he'd be wanting to go to, um, and he's eating his sausage drawers at the moment, so he'll be wanting to sort of uh, get breastfed uh, and then go for a nap. And, um, so I'm using two tins of peaches and um, as I said, my kids love um, lollipops or popsicles so I try to make them and um, it just saves it from well, it saves us from buying them really um, and plus I know as well what we put in there rather than um, yeah I don't put any extra sugar to anything so I'll I've removed the, the juice and I'm just going to put everything in here I'll just get a teaspoon. I forgot to get a teaspoon. I've got that one So we're going to be adding to this ingredient uh, some vanilla extract, just a tablespoon. Sorry, a teaspoon, not a tablespoon, a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And it will taste amazing. And then um, 
a lemon lemon juice. Again, another teaspoon. got Greek yogurt. Uh, I normally buy these small ones because um, the big ones I never get to finish them so small ones you guarantee that you're going to use up. Um, Just for kept, I will just stir it up a bit. To try and get all the yogurt from the pot. So you don't want to waste anything you're doing. <laughs> So yeah, so we've got, we've had two tins of peach and a teaspoon of vanilla extract and a teaspoon of um, lemon juice and as well as a teaspoon, well two teaspoons of um, uh, organic hon uh, honey. And uh, so I kept a little bit of the juice from the um, peach. see the consistency this is what it looks it smells really lovely already so, and I'm just going to ooh, 
them in. Also, doing this. I'm just pushing them in so they don't fall off. Um, I normally use the, the red one, I normally use these ones, but my lollipop sticks have disappeared and I think Benjamin has been playing with them and I don't know where, he, yeah, I just don't know where the whole packet's gone. Right, so I just want to be very, very, very careful to make sure it all goes in without any problem. I don't know if you can see. As I said, it tastes really delicious. Um, so yes, I would like to know your, your thoughts on like what job you would do um, for free. And um, so please do leave me a comment. And then what you need to do, you need to put it in a freezer for um, six hours. I prefer the wooden sticks because, um, um, yeah, but the wooden ones, I normally have them in each drawer here, but it's, they're gone. And Benjamin normally rearranges everything in my drawers, my kitchen drawers. So, um, so I'm sure he's dumped it somewhere. So as I said, you put this in the freezer for six hours 
and then uh, and then it's ready for the kids and it's so healthy um, so here you go and you just put that in the fridge put it for six hours and then you're done literally have no space in my freezer so the rest I will try to see if I can get some sticks somewhere and make another batch later because I don't have any more um, so I'm going to take that so yeah so um so I don't know if you enjoyed that little bit and um, if um, nobody sort of like put any message yet or <laughs> and uh, or giving me any thumbs up so it'll be great if you can give me some thumbs up so I'm just gonna talk you through again what I did so I've made a peach uh, popsicle you will call it or lollipop um, so I've used a tin of well, two tins of peaches and a Greek yogurt uh, I can get it out now and uh, Greek yogurt and um, a teaspoon of lemon juice and um, a vanilla extract and, and I also use a little bit of juice from the, the peach slices but I think I might have put a little bit too much juice on it because it's, I've got more liquid than <laughs> more uh, smoother than I needed. So, and um, so I need to find some more um, lollipop molds so I can make some more with the rest of what I've got left. So, um, so yeah. So I was just kind of like interesting to find out what people would do for free in terms of work-wise. Uh, as I mentioned, I look after dogs from home. And um, and most of the times I sort of do it uh, without really, yeah, charging, <laughs> which is a bit silly for, as a business. But what would you do in terms of like uh, work-wise? Um, so at the moment I'm not getting anybody. <laughs> so um, so I came. Uh, well, let me tell you a bit a bit of my, about my day. I. Um, this morning I dropped off Benjamin to um, Fresh for a couple of hours and and then I had um, a doctor's appointment, that's why I've got this, so I'm not sick, <laughs> don't, don't think I've got anything, I'm not sick or anything like that, so I'm not sick, um, I just had to go and get some like tests and stuff done and, um, and then I come back, Bruno was barking as always, he was very stressed, so now he's all tied up. I don't know if you can see there. He really doesn't like to stay by himself. So, um, and um, as I don't know if you've seen my other videos where I've shown you what he used to do in terms of like trying to escape from his crate. Um, he managed once to um, get himself, get his neck stuck on the crate. So, um, so now I have one of those big um, industrial crates that he can't, well, I've had it now for like, what, six months, and he's not been able to sort of like break out of that. So the only thing he can do is bark 
and uh, occasionally he will poop in the crate. Uh, but the main thing is, is he's not injuring himself anymore, like he used to when he was trying to escape. And um, so yeah, it takes, I think like having a pet uh, or looking after pets, it takes a lot. Um, I'm not sure if it's um, easier to look after pets than children, but I would say like um, children are probably easier because they grow up, And uh, but dogs, not really. They're always the same, aren't they? So, and, um, so yeah, so, um, I mean, what other jobs would I do for free? Um, I used to volunteer. So I, I volunteered for different organizations. Um, and um, I did some of them for like over a year volunteering. But obviously at the moment now I can't volunteer because I can't go to doing the locations and stuff like that. Um, because it's nobody to look after Ben for me. And um, so yeah, so volunteering was one of those things which I really enjoyed doing. And, uh, and also meeting people, you know. And um, so if there was some another job I would want to do for nothing. Um, I actually tried to apply to look after, um, is it, what, was, what do you call those? Um, hmm. I've forgotten what it's called. Is there when you train dogs um, to help the blinds and stuff like that? Is it guard dogs? What? I can't remember. But yeah, I wanted to sort of like look after them, to sort of like um, raise them when they were but because I've, I've already got a cat and Benjamin was too young, um, they were sort of like, oh, you need to have like a lot of um, time and um, patience to sort of look after them, so you can't really have, um, yeah, so the kids need to be basically all grown up. And uh, so maybe uh, in the future. And um, so what else? Are and sometimes, what do I do? Yeah, like volunteering is definitely like, um, it's one of those things I would do again uh, for free. But they don't pay you, that's why it's called volunteering. Isn't it? <laughs> um, so, what other jobs have I done? That I used, I, I did um, in the days when I used to run my beauty business to get extra money, I used to do. Um, I used to deliver newspapers, would you believe us? I used to walk around the estate, my neighbourhood and other people's neighbourhood and deliver newspapers and they didn't pay you that much. And so I guess that's kind of like a free, uh, that was kind of like a job that I didn't really get paid much for. And um, so yeah, so I got, to, I got to know the neighbourhood a little bit better and different places and um, and chatting with people as well, so I kind of like that, but then I also like to have like my own space. So, um, so there was that sort of line of job, and what else? Um, if I'm just bubbling like lots of crap, <laughs> just put a message there. Um, and what else do I like? Uh, I've never done this as a job, but maybe like being a cook. I don't know. Um, so yeah, probably be a, do a yeah, be a cook or something. And uh, the only job I probably I mean I love children. The only job I probably wouldn't do is uh, children, um, just simply because it's a lot of hard work. I mean it is hard work with the dogs. You know you don't have to sort of you have to collect the poops and stuff. But with uh, children, it's just. Yeah, it's just another kettle of, um, yeah, if you just don't, I don't, I really wouldn't touch that, <laughs> that sort of line of jobs. Um, I'm not brave enough. And, um, so maybe look after cats as well, because I've got cats at home. And, um, cleaning is a job that I, I wouldn't do, do, even though I do it at home, I wouldn't want to do that again. Um, I did it, um, in my teens, when I was a teenager, um, 
and I wasn't very good at that. <laughs> so, and uh, I'm literally just mumbling for nothing, aren't I? <laughs> so, anyway, give me a thumbs up, even if you don't want to like leave me a comment. Uh, so tonight I'm going to be making a video on like the, the food I'm cooking for the kids. So let me just go through what I've done in terms of the lollipop, and uh, and then I'm going to go on. The, and check on the boy he's really quiet he's watching his cartoons and stuff so it's allowing me the chance to sort of like do this video and uh, so i made a peach lollipop uh, or popsicle and uh, so i've used tins two tins of those and i normally buy small brick yogurts because i used to buy the big tub before and then I never used to finish it, so I find that uh, the smaller ones I can use in one go. And or even if the kids want to like to eat yogurt, they can just eat eat it and then it's done rather than leaving them in the fridge. And uh, and then um, lemon juice and also a vanilla extract. I mean, at the moment it smells amazing. And uh, and lemon, uh, well, honey <laughs> and honey as well. So, and a bit of, um, just a tiny bit, not too much, just to allow it to sort of, like when you're blending it, to sort of go through the machine. And I put a little bit more than I should have. And so I'll show you the mixture, the one we've got left here. Um, so this is the one I've got left that I need to find. Um, I've got some mold, but I just need to find the sticks for it. If I can't find them, I need to get some, one of the kids to go and buy me one. Or ask the dad if, um, if, if he can get me one. So I've got one of these, but I don't have the sticks to put them in. Um, I had loads, but Benjamin is always like taking stuff from the drawers and playing with them and then like, dumping them somewhere. So I'm sure he's, like, he's throwing them outside or something. But this is what it looks like. Yeah. And... It smells really delicious and um, I mean I can drink it as a smoothie so I guess I'll probably do that <laughs> and uh, but yeah it's, it's really nice it's a nice um, thing um, the kids always like like things like lollipops and stuff like that and um, so I'm always trying to make them different variety and it saves them from you know when they get their pocket money it saves them from like going to buy a the ice cream from the ice cream van because sometimes we get the ice cream van that sort of like stops by so it just saves them from um, it saves them to sort of like going out and buying them um, so they can save them money to buy other things like the girls they will buy their own makeup and stuff like that so so yeah and um, and my cat is just visiting us right now so here we go yeah. So they've never actually had any problem, the two of them. Um, my previous dog and cat, they didn't, uh, they didn't hate each other. They just, they coexisted. They just didn't want, they didn't sort of like play or do anything with one another. Um, they just avoided each other for, I mean, I had the cat for 20 years and a dog for 10 and they just the whole time they, they live together they just avoided each other and uh, but Bruno and Lola they sort of they play really well together and uh, so when I first had Lola she was only a tiny kitten um, she used to practice all her moves on uh, Bruno and um, all us <laughs> so but now she just goes out there and starts hunting and stuff and um, but yeah, so they're really good with each other, so, and, and the cat hasn't sort of like tried to eat a tortoise either. Uh, she sort of stares at her, but she doesn't do anything to her. Um, so yeah, so now I'm just going to, I'm going to sort of put that in a cup and then drink that myself. And, um, so... So this is how beautiful it is, it's just so lovely. Let me get something to scoop it from out. Um, 
Tina and Ben's coming. Ben left his favourite toy at play at um, the crash, so I'm not sure how he's going to react. Look. So far, he's been fine. Um, when he, I don't know if he's realised he's left it, but yeah, I just want to squeeze everything out of it. Give me thumbs up. <laughs> it's really delicious. It tastes really nice. So I'll finish this and then I'll sort of say goodbye. You can taste the, the peach in here and the yogurt and um, a little t you don't you can actually you don't actually taste the lemon juice. I think it's um I put just the right amount. So yeah. You can't taste it. If you could taste it I think you'd be a little bit upset. So yeah. Right. I'm going to go and check on Benjamin and get him to have his nap now. But thank you and do leave some comment um, and um, also give us some thumbs up <laughs> and have a good day at work or whatever you are. <laughs> so bye.